Now, at that time, Sha Shawnee were noted for killing most of their most of their uh, people that they captured. Simon Kenton was a legendary frontiersman in Ohio and the Midwest. Decides to take up trapping as a, a livelihood. Now he changes his name because he figures if he gets caught, he's going to be hung because he's killed this fellow. Willie Leachman, that is. But I just couldn't help it. I had to call him out. He was born in 1755 and grew up to become, as described, as a giant of a man. At a muscular six foot three inches, he became known as the savior of the early settlers in the bane of the region's hostile tribes. Pretty much every American has heard of a fellow named Daniel Boone, that, that guy down there, uh, and a lot of people who aren't Americans. And, and he's iconic as a frontiersman. But in my humble opinion, Simon Caton, uh, Canton, I'm sorry, uh, makes him pale by comparison. And I got his hair and I got it around that bush. And with all the pent up fury that it built in me, I commenced a beating on him. Insanity. Oh, he did left me. Simon Kenton was a legendary frontiersman in Ohio and the Midwest. He was born in 1755 and grew up to become, as described, as a giant of a man. Born to Irish immigrants in 1755 in Virginia. And they're a poor family. They're a small little farm there they're working on and there's very little time for schooling. And uh, Simon uh, never learns to read or write and he remains illiterate for the balance of his life, which that starts the stage for Simon. Now Simon, no, he does not, not like farming that awful much. He likes to go off in the bush and shoulder his gun and he becomes a really good marksman. At a muscular six foot three inches, he became known as the savior of the early settlers in the bane of the region's hostile tribes. At the age of 16, Kenton became involved in a fight involving a woman, believed that he had killed a man. He fled to the Ohio country where he changed his name to Simon Butler. The story goes he fell in love with a girl. Unfortunately, she married another gentleman. Simon attended the wedding and being a very impulsive and rascally fella, he challenged the new groom to a scrap which he promptly lost. After this debacle of a situation, he vowed revenge. So once again, in 1771, he challenged William Leachman to another brawl. He, he torn to breathing when I left him. And, oh, I knew I'd killed him. Again, Kenton was losing the fight, but this time he grabbed the man's long hair and attached it to a tree stump and then beat William until he was not moving. Believing that he had killed the man, he fled westward, assuming the name Simon Butler. He learned many years later that he had not killed Leachman. In order to put distance between his presumed crime, though, he avoided contact with anyone during this flight. He grabs his shooting bag and his powder horn and heads west. And if you think about a kid today having that kind of resource, I mean, that's what he walks out of the house with in the 1700s. I traveled all night. I made her all the way to Ashby's Gap of the Blue Ridge. I always hear her tell it is 18 miles. He was forced in this period to work for food and clothing. As he got further from his home, he became more confident that he was not being pursued. He settled in Boonesboro, Kentucky in 1775 and defended the settlement against frequent Native American attacks. In one of these encounters, he saved Daniel Boone's life. Daniel, he's laying on the ground apparently, and he's looking up at a Shawnee tomahawk coming down to him when Simon comes along, kills that fellow, clubs another one, throws Daniel Boone over his shoulder. Now, Daniel Boone's not a small man by any means. He was over six foot tall, but he's got him over the shoulder, grabs both muskets, and he runs to safety with Daniel. It would take 11 years before Simon found out that the man had survived, and 
it was then that Simon Butler once again became Simon Kenton. As a frontiersman, Kenton learned to survive in the wilderness. He became a keen marksman and a great hunter. Throughout his life, Kenton was in continuing conflicts with the Native Americans, whether it was stealing their horses when he could or fighting against them. He was with a couple other fellows there somewhere near the Kentucky area, and they get soaking wet. And so they're sitting around a fire drying their clothes when they're, they're attacked. There's a surprise attack by some Shawnee. And the Shawnee kill one of the three of them. Canton and one other fellow, whom I don't know his name, escape with, with no clothes, no food, and no rifles. And they're a week before they make it to the Ohio River where they're rescued. During one of Kenton's encounters with the Shawnee, he was captured bound up and forced to endure a number of unimaginable tortures that would have probably killed almost any other man. These tortures included being bound and dragged by a galloping horse through the forest, forcing him to run the infamous gauntlet which killed many a man. After running six times through the gauntlet, while attempting to escape, he had a hole hammered in his skull and was unconscious for two days. He's finished his ninth gauntlet run. They're gonna burn him alive at the fire. He convinces the Shawnee to adopt him, which they do. And uh, it's not till about a year later that there's a prisoner exchange in Fort Detroit and, and Simon is, is exchanged. Finally, in June 1779, he was able to escape from Detroit, and after a 30-day march, he made it back to the American settlements. One hell of a survivor and frontiersman, Simon Kenton went on to explore the American frontier and right into the history books. Well, thank you guys for checking out this video. If you like this video and videos like this, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and share this with your friends. And as always, remember to get out there and explore. Thanks, guys. Willie Leachman, that is. But I just couldn't help it. I had to call him out. I poured a coffee, and there's still more history about old Simon there.